Who is that cute little baby? Good morning. Hey. He's like, oh, jeez. Oh I'm freaking out. I just walked into the store. The babysitter is being very mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is our son, baby. This is our boy. <laughs> He's gonna do amazing things. I am feeding Ollie some breakfast. Open up. Oh. Nom 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 nom. Missy told me that there was oatmeal in there that she had made. Um, cause she's been making this really good, like, natural oatmeal that, okay, hang on. Disaster. Hang on. No! Thank you. Um, but I couldn't find any, so I just mashed up a banana. Yeah. Normally we mix this with a little bit of, um, steel carrots. Steel carrots. Hey guys, so Ollie just woke up from his nap. Let's see how he's doing. <laughs> Look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. He's like, I just woke up. All right, let's turn this off. <gasps> Hi, I love you. You're so cute. Did you have the best? <laughs> what? <laughs> Look at that raccoon. You got a raccoon and a monkey and a caterpillar and more monkeys. What do you think of that? <laughs> he really wants it. Hello, Karma. Come here. Oh, hello. Say good morning to Mr. Ollie. I'm gonna check out the farmer's market here in town. I'm um, looking for some good fruits and vegetables for Ollie to cook up. I got hummus. Oh, I love hummus. And these places are the best place for hummus because you literally try every single one of them. Yeah, you can just like try them all. <laughs> but he also got me this uh, three layer. It's pesto, feta, and sun-dried tomato. Huh. So freaking good. So we are at IHOP with Cassie and Jemme and Ollie. We decided to bring him because he's kind of cute. He's, yeah, he's like, thanks for bringing me. Put something in front of him. Put it in your mouth. Come on. It's a little thingy. You could do it. Put it in your mouth. Why is he trying to crush it as hard as he can? He's like trying to destroy it. He's a little monster. You can do it. Put it in your mouth. Oh, oh, oh almost, oh. almost. I think he has it in his hand, and he's putting his finger in his mouth. <laughs> he's gonna bite it. He puts face. everything in his mouth except for food. I don't Wait. get it. Is it in there? Wait. You did it. Did you do it? Let's see it. Where did it go? <laughs> I'm vining again. If you guys don't know what vine is, you guys should go download it and follow me. I'm trying to do a funny vine every day. And it's really fun. I think it's like a, it's like different outlet than like Twitter. You know what I mean? So I just did this one. YouTubers, be all hold up. There we go. Go follow me on Vine. I'll have a link below in the description. It's just been so fun. Oh, I did this funny one. Push it. Come, you want me to throw that? You don't want me to throw it, do you? Do you want me to throw it? All right. Ready? Go get it. <laughs> it's so flippin' beautiful out here, you guys. So, I wanted to come out here and play with karma, but also talk to you guys. Oh, look at this, I got, I'm all up in that jelly bean swag. But I kinda actually wanted to talk to you guys. I know yesterday I said that um, we were gonna be telling you guys about something. So, a lot of you guys know that I grew up without a dad, and it was fine, I was mostly raised by my mom and my sister, and they were awesome. It's always been one of those things where I didn't really notice it growing up just because I didn't know any, I didn't know any different. Missy and I have always been really curious um, and her, I think, more so than me. Um, I don't really care, but um, I guess it's still pretty interesting. Karma, come on. I'm trying to have a deep conversation here. Let go. Recently, she's been wanting to kind of look for him. Uh, now, I know nothing about this guy except for his name. I know what high school he went to, and I I know what year he graduated, because it was the same year as my aunt, um, and I've seen one senior picture of him, and that's all. We don't really have a whole lot to go off of, and I know a lot of family friends kind of know like of him, and maybe like they know of his location five years ago. Um, I'm not sure if he has another family. I heard he has other kids, um, so potentially I could have brothers and sisters. I don't know. It's really weird for me it's kind of weird to talk about but I don't know I think Missy and I are actually gonna try and and look for him and I, I think I'm just curious to see like what does he look like does he have good hair does he have good jeans I don't think I would ever really have a relationship with this guy or his family 
but I, I mean, I don't know. You, you never know about things like that, you know what I mean? I told my mom yesterday that I, I really wanted to look for him and she's kind of weary about it. And I mean, I, I can understand that, why she would probably be a little hesitant, but I think we want to. And so she actually um, sent me a link to a Facebook profile and we kind of think that it's him. There's not a lot, a whole lot of clear pictures up. Um, and the one picture he has, he looks really young. Um, kind of too young to be my dad. I think he'd be about 50 years old. Um, so we're not sure if that's him. But we're just going to go off it and, and see what happens. And, and we'll take you guys along for the ride, you know. Kind of a weird thing for me to open up about. Just because, I don't know, it's weird to me. I, I was just always one of those kids who grew up without a dad, you know, so I, I didn't know really what it was supposed to be like. If you guys have experience with this, I would love to know in the comments below, like finding a lost family member, if there's like a website you used or a person you used or something that could lead us in the right direction to give us answers. That would be really cool. So yeah, I think right now the best thing to do is just look for facts and uh, figure out what we actually know about him and if we can find out anything else about him that could potentially lead us to him. And I mean also trying to figure out a way to not scare him because I know he knows about me but I think from his side it'd be very weird if someone just showed up and said hey I'm your son you know what I mean at least it'd be weird for me we have to be very tactful about stuff like this you want me to throw this again oh. all right so we are going to attempt to call a family member of who we think might possibly be his dad. We found a phone number and we're going to try and call and see found what he like says. A phone That's... <laughs> it's going to be weird because you have to like be like, hi, um, hmm, I might be a family member. <laughs> Do you have a brother who has an illegitimate son? <laughs> hi, is this Sheila? Yes, it is. Hi, Sheila. Is Mike available? Thank you. Hey Mike. Oh, this is Mike. Hi Mike. Uh, my name is Brian and I actually live in Southern California. Um, this might be a weird phone call, but I'm currently on the search for a long lost family member. I'm searching for basically my birth father um, and she believes that you could somehow have a relation to him. I know this is completely out of the blue and it may be like totally like what's going on, <laughs> but I was just wondering if I could your name, ask you... Your name's, your name's Brian? Yes. And you're looking for your birth father? Yes. Now, do you have a son named Jeff? Jeff, yeah, Jeff huh? That's your son, right? Yeah. Okay, do you know, did they all go to high school in Minnesota? They all went to uh, Buffalo, Buffalo, Minnesota High School, uh-huh. So they had no connection to, like, a high school in San Diego? So yeah, then it definitely wouldn't be the man in the picture. I'm just kind of trying to tie in any, any, find, try to tell any lead or follow any lead you can come up with, huh? Basically, yeah. I mean, I know his name. I know roughly how old he is. Yeah, well, I, I really appreciate you just talking to me and, and answering questions. I know, I know it's kind of a weird, it's kind of a weird thing, but I appreciate right. it. At least I know that this is a dead end. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, good luck. Thank you. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Okay, so it's not that guy. I think we've hit a dead end there. I don't think that what we were looking at was, well, it wasn't. It was no yeah. no connection whatsoever. They and were it wasn't, I don't think I, I mean, it would have been amazing if the first lead we had yeah. was it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Exactly. So I wasn't really expecting to get out, anything out of it. I mean, I went through the white pages and I called everyone who has his name and was in the location and stuff. And We had one iffy there weird was, one. I did talk to a guy who was in California and was roughly around the same age, same name, and I called him, and he was kind of really short, and I was just like, hey, I'm looking for so-and-so, um, and he, he's like, okay, what do you need? And I'm, and I'm like, I'm looking for so-and-so who went to this high school, and then he said, not me. And then I said, okay, thank you, bye. And I'm kind of thinking like, what if that was him? Yeah. It, you know what I mean? Like, Because you don't if, know if, what this guy's history is, and what yeah. if he is hiding and doesn't really want to be. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, even know what to say to these people. Like, I'm telling them, like, I'm looking for a lost family member. You know what I mean? Like, trying, but I don't know if that's, like, too broad, and they're like, oh, well, that's what, like, a collector would say or yeah, something, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, So we're actually headed to Target. I am returning these really cute shelves that I bought for Ollie's room. I love them. I think they're, like... Just like really nice. I'm gonna put like cute little knickknacks on him. Um, but one of the like shelves, it was, like this one, had like a 
big old stupid scratch on it and I was Stuff like, on it. bleh. You're like, so. uh -uh. <laughs> I don't think so, Tarjay. Hello, dust people. <laughs> Someone took the liberty of writing. That's pretty bad though. It's really dusty and it's hanging on a shelf. Missy's going through these boxes. Is that one okay? That one had a mix in it too? This had like a little one. I was like, I mean, if I'm taking it back. Yeah. Check Look, Missy, we can start our own dentist at home. <laughs> it's a water pick flosser. Can you imagine using this again? Do people use these, really? I thought they were really fun. I just needed a new toothbrush, so. And I always like hard bristles. Sorry, I'm totally boring, you guys. <laughs> boring adult things. Boring adult things. Are you trying to escape? Yes, he is. Oh, good morning. <laughs> My name's Ollie, and I have chubby cheeks. Hey, Oliver. We're here. Mm. He's so cute when he sleeps. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Oh. oh. Oh no. No. Oh no. <laughs> We're playing a game, right? I'm gonna get Ollie to open his mouth and go, oh, open. Open. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I made it! I made it in! It's a happy moment! He's like a fly to the light. <laughs> Ollie, what do you think? What do you think? Alright you guys, Oliver just had his bath and now Missy is putting him down to sleep. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys didn't know, it's Monday! So there's a new video on youtube.com slash baby league. I'll have the link below in the description. Um, we did a look who's vlogging this week and it was about travel and we filmed a bunch of cool travel stuff while we were coming home from Florida of Oliver and it's really cool. So go and check it out. Click the thumbs up button. Let's see if we can get that video to 3,000 likes. I know we did it before. We can do it again if you guys can do it. That would be awesome. So go check it out, please. I'll have a link below in the description. Click thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to our channel. We put out videos every single day. And I guess you guys are sort of going to be following my journey of looking for my real dad. Because I'm not giving up. So, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Get knocked was, out of this. I was just saying. We got saying, home four days ago. No, I don't know. I'm just saying. I really hope I'm not pregnant. Oh my gosh. I was just going to say. <laughs> you're not pregnant, are you? Are you pregnant? No. Are you? Are you sure though? No. But you My mom said the same thing though. I walked downstairs and I was like, I'm so tired. She's so like, you better paranoid. not be pregnant. I was Everyone like, is so paranoid. Not that if I was pregnant, it'd be the worst thing ever, but it wouldn't. It, we really need to like do 